Hello everyone, Intuitive Edge here. So I have something I want to talk about and I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna come out, but I wanna, I wanna talk about something that's weighing on me. And it's kind of the, the downside of intuition and that is premonitions. Any of you who have had premonitions, I, talk, I say downside, you know, there's not really a downside to having intuition or knowing things ahead of time, but if there's something that you know is going to happen and there's not anything you can do about it, that's, that's unsettling. Premonitions can be valuable. For instance, for the people that lived through 9-11, 2001, there were people that had a foreboding not to go to work that day. If, if they worked in the towers or worked in downtown and to just stay home, there were people that had that. That's a premonition. That's an intuition that, ooh, you know, I need to pay attention. Sometimes the reason that people don't pay attention to their intuition is that they don't think anything of it. It's something comes in their mind, very subtle, and this is how intuition works with me. And I don't think I'm too different than most people. But you get something that comes in your mind and it's kind of fleeting and, it, and you don't give it much thought. This happened to me in my 20s a lot. This is how I came to realize, oh, okay, there's something to this. For a lot of years, I would get these little, in, little things that would come in my, into my awareness kind of out of the blue and I'd brush it off, wouldn't think much of it. And this happened a lot in retrospect it happened a lot until one day I, I finally put two and two together and went oh, I knew this was happening beforehand see before it was just a thought that came in my head I didn't think much of it case in point what I'm talking about are plane crashes now this is my my personal journey I think I shared this in a video a few months back but I'm bringing it up again, and you'll see why in a bit. But when I was in my 20s, I, I would get little fleeting stuff come out of the blue, oh, you know, about a plane crash. And then it would just be gone, and I wouldn't think about it. Until one day I, just, I went, oh my gosh, I had that fleeting thing about a plane crash, and here it is in the news two days later. And I, and I, it was like that moment. I think about the story of Helen Keller. Many of you are, are probably familiar with her story. She was blind and deaf since infancy and just lived in, you know, very shut off from the world and had people trying to help her. And there was a woman who tried to, put sign language in her hands. It tried to correlate things with, you know, water. And it, it, nothing clicked until one day it clicked with her, with Helen Keller. And then her whole world opened up. That's how it is with intuition. Things come along and we just, we don't, we don't see it. We don't pay attention. We don't know what's happening, you know. And then one day it's like, oh my gosh, I should pay attention. <laughs> and for me, it was plane crashes. Universe from the mid, you know, well, even before I was my 20s. I was, in, I was a teenager in the 1980s, every, in 1990s, every plane crash. And then once I, once I had that moment where I went, oh, I knew about that ahead of time. Once it clicked, then it was like every single plane crash. And it's like, I, you know, at first I felt helpless. It's like, well, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> you know, these people are gonna die. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Nothing I can do. I, so I prayed for them. It's like, what else can you do, right? But, um, now the odd thing, very, very odd, was that 2001, 9-11 came along. I didn't know ahead of time. And that 
baffled me because for the last 25 years, literally every plane crash in the news I knew about beforehand. And 9-11 hit and I was almost like, <laughs> at first I was, you know, with all these plane crashes, I was like, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. It's like, it's too painful. I don't want to know. And then when 9-11 happens, like, how come I didn't know? <laughs> how come I didn't know? And I still don't know, guys. That baffles me to this day. Because, for, like I said, all the ones for 25 years I knew about. Except for that, which was, like, huge. So I'm sitting, you know, and I just, I didn't think about plane crashes. And ever since then, it was like, you know, plane crash would happen. It's like, oh, I didn't really know. Okay, well, I guess... I guess my intuition isn't, you know, maybe I'm picking up on other things. Fine. <laughs> Until today. I'm sitting at the table doing work. And all of a sudden I'm thinking about a plane crash. And I'm, I'm imagining a guy on a plane ahead of time. And I went, oh, no, not again. And I, I have to say, I think there's going to be another one. Now, there was a plane crash just this last weekend. And something about Boeing in the news. And and I went, oh, no. So I, I hope not. But that's how it would come to me before. Is I'd get these little things in my head. I'd just think, oh, I'd be imagining. I thought it was my imagination. I'd be imagining a guy on a plane and I'd be you know watching people on a, on the plane and then things would come in you know back in the 90s 80s and 90s I'd hear things like Indonesian jetliner or I'd hear um, you know Alaska Airlines and I'd see Seattle to LA that one freaked me out <laughs> because I thought it was Seattle to LA it was like, it was the other way around, but the plane had turned around. <laughs> so, anyway. So I got another one of those today. I'll just share it with you. Uh, again, I hope, I hope this is wrong. I do, because I don't like plane crashes. I don't like people dying. That's... <sighs> so anyway, what it is, what I see is a guy on a plane, and he's... The, the planes, by this time, it feels like it's in trouble. And this guy's, like, pacing up the aisle, like, trying to get to something. And and then it just, like, you hear, like, this boom. Like, it hits, like, turbulence or something. And I felt, I felt like it was, like, perhaps over water. So I came down <laughs> and I asked the tarot because I'm like, okay, tell me about this. You know, am I getting these again? Because I haven't had them since 2000, around 2000. Am I getting these pre air, airline premonitions again? And uh, so I laid out a tarot. I said, tell me, you know, tell me about this. What's, what is this crash? First card is the Eight of Swords restriction. This is that being restricted, prison of your own making kind of thing. Getting into bondage or prison. The second card kind of blew me away because it's the Fool card. But if you look at the artwork, the imagery, diving into the ocean, and that's kind of what I felt with this before I laid the cards out. It was like, I felt like there was some, like perhaps an ocean, something to do with that. The next card, and then again, it would, this is just imagery, just mostly imagery on these cards this card was like it's like underneath the ocean and this is the ace of pentacles but i was focused in on this this pentacle representing value and it felt like something of value was targeted somebody or something so i don't know if this plane was brought down deliberately but if it was it was to get rid of something or to silence someone valuable or something to do with value. It's just what I th what came to mind. Next card was the seven of cups, the, the feeling of overwhelm, too much going on, chaos, kind of frantic. 
can also be, you know, different options too, but then we have the Wheel of Fortune in the past position, meaning this is destined to happen. And the Five of Pentacles came up in the forward position, and the keyword is abandonment, which made me feel like no survivors. And then we had the Five of Cups, the sadness, keyword sadness. So, you know, I don't know. I. I hope not, but I think the key is I was I was tuning into that one guy on this in this vision I guess I had guy in his thirties thirty five thirty six years old roughly dark hair thin tall and I'm keying in on him and thinking he's I don't know if he's not supposed to be on that plane. If he wasn't supposed to be on the plane and got on the plane. Or if he's just realizing, oh my gosh, I'm going to die and it's not my time. But that's how I felt with him. It's like it's not his time. <laughs> of course, it, I mean, if, if you go, it's your time. But I kind of wonder sometimes if... I've heard, I've heard death explained a couple different ways. That sometimes we have... We have options like exit options on our lifetime our soul does when we come to earth we have down the road on our timeline there are chances that we have if we want to exit out you know life things happen and you die and but sometimes we can override those and stay a little longer if we if our soul is wanting to and i'm thinking that that might have been an exit opportunity that didn't need to be taken for that guy. Again, it's just my my thoughts. So I know I'm kind of rambling on this, but I just, the, the plane crash thing really bugs me, and it bugged me for many, many years. And I had them for many years until I finally admitted, okay, maybe maybe there's something to this intuition stuff. Because I'm seeing stuff ahead of time. And then it shows up in the news. So I hope I'm wrong. I'm going to say a prayer for that man if it's not too late. Oh, by the way, today is uh, Tuesday. March, what is it, the 12th? So just for reference, for whatever happens, if this plane crash comes or not. But I hope not. I really do. <laughs> All right. I, I'm going to leave that here. I appreciate you listening. Those of you that are empathic and have intuition, you know, you know what these things are like. The main thing is to just know when you get those little things that come in to your awareness, don't brush them off. Especially if it's about you, you know, needing to take you pay you to pay attention you know hey this is coming up pay attention so our intuition's a gift and it's not just for you know some select few that happen to have a youtube channel intuition is for everyone it's it's our god-given gift and we can learn to pay attention we can learn to hone it we can learn to understand it and not just write it off as some random event that's coincidence because I don't believe in coincidences. I really don't. All right. I appreciate you stopping by my channel. If you liked it, leave a like. Please subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.